So the idea of this video is to talk through the Photoshop setup process for DTF printing on the Brother GTX. I'm by no means a Photoshop expert, I'm self-taught, so I might not be doing everything that you aficionados know, but bear with me. So here's, here's the art file that I'm going to be doing. First thing I want to do is check my size. I work in inches because basically the GTX platen is 14 by 16 and my film is 12 inch wide. So I need to make this image 11 and a half inches wide. Okay, take the crop off. So I know now that that, that width will fit on my film and give me a little bit each side it's an offset print but then i'm going to go back in image and get, create my canvas and i know that i'm at 11 and a half so i know that it fits on my film so i'm now going to make that the plat the platen size of the gtx which is 14 by 16. the reason for doing that is hopefully when i import it into garment software um, i don't have to resize and it makes the lining up of the underbase much easier so there you go. So that's now the platen size. That's my artwork. And I'm, I'm using the Mac, so um, Command T, and then I'm going to Control, left click, and I'm going to flip it horizontally because obviously in DTF everything's a mirror. Now, to save, oh, it's, I'm just still going to center it. Then to save space on the film, I'm going to actually do two on one. So I'm going to Control C, Control V. Bring me copy and paste, and there we go. And then I'm just going to layer, and I'm going to merge the visible. So that that is the CMYK. So I'm going to export that. Um, I use Dropbox as as a, as a server. So um, so in my DTF files, artwork, there, FIFO, high vis, and I'm going to call this resized and then I'm going to save it okay now the um, that was saved as resized I know it's CMYK you might want to call your file CMYK now what I need to do is get my white underbase now some people toggle the white in um, one or two pixels so it doesn't overflow but I actually leave it as it is because I find that with my GTX it comes out all right so I'm just going to go image adjustments levels and I'm going to pull it right to 255 to give me a white now the other important bit is if you look over onto the right hand side I actually going to drop the opacity down to 80 percent and then I'm going to export that There you go, so I, I had it there, and I'm going to call that Hive is back underbase, and I'm going to call it the resize because obviously I've got other files in here. This is just done for the video purposes. Okay, so that's that's the artwork complete. If, for example, you've got an image that has white in it, um, you will need to do uh, another layer of um, art separation in white only because then what you'll do is you will get the brother to print print in CMYK then you get it to print your white top base and then your under base covers the whole lot so that's that's that all done now so I'm going to come out of that I'm going to I've got garment creator open already um, and here's my files that I've just done so I'm on a 14 by 16 platinum I'm going to go in and I'm just going to drop it and it's already automatically sized. So then I'm just going to print. It's first thing in the morning, so I'm just waiting for the... Uh, there you go. So this is colour ink only. I'm going to leave it at 10. I'm going to have it at multiple pass because I want to have a good colour. And then I'm going to leave double printing on. I always leave double printing on for CMYK. And I'm just going to print. and save as your ARX file. Um, 
go back into Dropbox, into my DTF, ARX, and, and I'm just going to save it in the, group, in the root folder. Now, this is where a lot of people get stuck. So what I'm going to do now, that's my CMYK done, color only. Now I need to print my white underbase. So I'm just going to drag that across. Now you'll see, because I've took the time and set the artwork up, it automatically drops in exact pixel for pixel, no distortions, okay? So that's now sat on top of the CMYK. So I'm going to use the center back function, send that to the bottom. I'm going to click. I'm now going to click back on the top. And I'm going to press delete. There you go. So that's now left me with my white. So I'm going to print. Now, most important, we're going to go white. Now, on the highlight and the mask, drag it down from the standard five and three to one each. You don't, the white pulls, so you need to have it down low. Keep that at two layer white. Um, that's quite important because even on a single pass, it would flood the film too much and you'll get pooling so keep that on two layer and the idea is is when we actually go to print the film we actually after the first pass of white we actually cancel so it only does sort of half of one half pass as such and then we're just going to print and you'll see it's just white ink i'm going to save and I'm going to save it into the same root folder. And that is it. That, that is the artwork set up for doing the, D, the DTG on the DTF. Now, one thing you could do if you wanted on this underbase, you could have gone in image adjustments and you could have gone down to contract and basically toggled the white back. So if you find that you're getting uh, an overspray of white on the outside of your image and you want to pull it back just by um, selecting and then inversing you can say like go minus two pixels and then bring that in so the CMYK actually sits over the top but my registration is pretty good on the printer so we'll soon find out when I print so thanks for watching the next video is going to be actually using the GTX printer to print the film and the next step in the process. Thanks.